In this video, we will start with transforming a relationship to linear form. You will find this on page 424 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Transforming a relationship to linear form. In science, when we collect experimental data for two variables and plot the data on a graph, we often end up with a curve making it difficult to find the relationship. Using logarithms, we can transform curves into straight lines. When the data is plotted and forms a straight line, then the relationship can be found easily using the equation y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. This is the case for the relationship of power functions, y equals kx to the power n, and exponential functions, y equals ka to the power x, where k, a and n are constants. I, I first just want to focus here, and I'm going to make it bigger to show you the difference, because this is also going to, um, as soon as we do the examples, I'm going to point this out on a regular basis. Okay, a exponential function, the x is in the exponent. A power function, the x is in the base, on the ground. Okay, so basically, if we take this and we transform, this is a curve, this is a curve. Now we can make this curve a straight line by taking logs on both sides and then follow the rules of, of um, the laws of logs. So I take log, I take log. Remember, there's a multiply. So what is the law, the, the power law? So it's going to be log k plus log ax. Remember, with the multiply, one log word, but with the plus two log words. Okay, then I put the x in front. And then I'm basically going to say, okay, so this, now it's, it's in a straight line. So I'm going to say this is y, uh, this is m, this is still x, and this is c. Okay, and if you're going to plot that, you will find a graph with log y, and this will just be an x. Okay, if it's, if it's lin, then it will be lin y, and this will be an x, because in front of the y stands a log. But in front of the x, it's not a log. That's the value of m, and that's why the graph looks like that. Okay, so it's a semi-log graph. But now, when you come to the power function, when you take logs on both sides, exactly the same, then follow the power law where you just um, uh, write an addition. So give everyone a word, log k plus log x n. Then you can do, um, that's the product law, and now you can do the power law. I said it incorrectly. The power law is where you bring this in to the front. And again, this is your y, this is, your, in front of your x is now a log. This n is m, and this log k is c. Because in front of the x is a log, that's why there is a log. And there's, in front of the y is also a log, and that's why that's a log. So that's why this is a log-log graph. Okay. And I will show you, it's, it's just a little bit different, the way of doing it. But, but if you already focus, is it exponential, is it power, then you, you know it's going to end up either like this or like this. Okay. But before we're going to go to the real uh, finding the values of the constants, we're first just going to learn to transform it from a curve to a straight line. So given that A and B are constants, convert each of the nonlinear equations into a straight line. State what the variables x, y, and the constant m and c represent. Okay. Now, don't forget that is the x is on top, so it's exponential. There the x is on the base, or on the ground, as I usually say. Then it's going to be a power function. Okay. So, let's just start. Let's just read here. Logarithms to any base can be used, but it's more us usual to use those that are mostly common, available on a calculator, where if you see a lin, you go for the natural, and otherwise you go for the base of t. So, as soon as you see e, 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 then you go for lin. Okay, so I put lin on both sides. Then I follow my rules. 
This is first my product law, okay? So this is what I do to that where it was multiplied. I write two words with a plus in between. Then I bring this x uh, with the power law down, okay? And then I have this. And then this, okay, remember, ee, -E, it's almost like it's ee, -E, that becomes one. And then I end just with y. Okay, and then this is just an x, this is m, and this is c. Okay, so I showed you y equals y, x equals x. I just made it different, a capital, so that you don't get confused. And m is lin b, and c is lin a. So don't forget that this graph, this graph, will look like this one. Okay. And then if you look at this one, again, now there's no e, so put locks on both sides. Then there you use your power law, you, uh, this is the plus, and then you put the a in front. Okay. And then you're going to just uh, take that over, and then um, this is already in front, and now I can just see, um, this is, oh, let's just see, b log y, oh, I'm going to divide, yes, I want to say, I didn't show you there, I divide by b, I divide by b, I divide by b, okay. So this is going to be log y, and then it's going to be, Negative, this is this one, this is one, negative a over b, log x, and then this one, plus log 8 over b. So this is y, remember this is x now, that's why it's that graph, because in front of the x is a log. This is the value of m, and this is the value of c. Easy as that. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do only two. And it's just because you must get that first step correct before you can find the value of the constants. I just want you to do, I think you can do just number A. X, this is a power one, and now I look for one, and C. Okay, now, yes. Now, let's not, sorry, I'm, I'm, these two videos I decide, oh, C. C will use logs whereby D will use lin, and that's why I decide rather to give you D. Okay, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Let's start. It's just logs. So let's start with number A. So Y is equal to A X to the power of B. So I'm going to put log, log, I take lock on both sides, that's how we say that. And then I go for my laws. I can already, but just because it's my first example, I don't want to, but I could already go for the power, uh, for the uh, product and the power, but this was first the product. And now I go for my and now I can, the x1 we usually bring to this side. So I bring the b down, and then I have log x plus log a. Okay. And then I can say, okay, so therefore, and I'm first going to mark it for you, and then I will write it. This is y. This is m. This is x. This is c. So therefore y equals log y um, uh, we can say b is equal to or m is equal to b and then x is equal to log x and c is equal to log a Okay, and that's how you do it. And, and that's just the first step. It's usually not how you're going to do it. It's just the first step in what we're going to do in the next videos. Okay, I'm going to make space for the next one. So let's quickly do number D. So Y is equal to E. And now I must just see that it's going to be, what is it going to be? AX. I'm going to make it bigger. It's almost like I cannot see it now. Yes. Okay, there it is. It's AX plus B.
y equals e i x plus b. Now, as I said, if you see e, or if you see on a graph a lin, then you go with lin. But now, if you see e, you do the same. So take lin on both sides. Okay. Now, you, you are going to follow that, that power law. So, because there's only that one. So it's going to be a x plus b lin e. Okay. Now don't forget that e e e. So this is actually going to become one. So you have lin y equals, and in this case it's going to be. And let's just quickly see a x plus b. Okay. So therefore y is equal to lin y. Can I show you first again? This is y, this is m, this is x, this is c. So m is equal to a, okay? x is equal to x, and the last one, c is equal to b. Okay, make sure you can do this before you start doing the following exercises.